We now head on over to Grand Bahama where the City of Freeport Council is now considering some adjustments following the impact of Hurricane Dorian. Italia Hall reports. Chief Councilor Kendall Comer says there were a number of plans in place for the city of Freeport, but Hurricane Dorian caused those plans to shift as a number of their assets were destroyed during the storm. He says they are now in the process of completing repairs by the end of next month. Susan J. Wallace was um, damaged severely by the storm. Wellington Ferguson Community Center damaged by the storm. Some of the parks are being damaged. Um, we're, we're outside doing this interview right now. We are flooding in this office where we lost our, our, most of our documents, furniture, um, electronic devices. So right now we're in a rebuilding process. The main office will now be moved to the Pride from Manor Corporate Plaza on West Mall Drive. Calmer says there are some challenges that the council faced last year. One in particular is a reduction in the annual budget. NASA has been cutting our budget um, ever since we've come into office, and it makes things a little difficult, makes it tight in terms of some of the plans that we had for the community at large. And other problems that we face are damages, looting, um, persons dumping garbage on the parks and what's not because this also adds to our operation expense having to replace equipment over and over again and removing debris. Um, it, it, it's, it's very disheartening to know that persons actually will go in the park and destroy a sliding board, a swing. And then we have to turn back and replace it, and then they go back three months later and have to replace it again. So we would ask the persons in the community to take better care of, of local government's property, which is also their property. He says another challenge is the fact that they are not always able to meet the demands of residents. Street signs, road, um, speed bumps, street lights, and things like that. Whereas um, we can't take government funds to repair private assets. But the chief counselor says the goal this year is to provide more social programs to bring the community together. Coral Reef Estate, they have a program going on there where they meet quarterly, they have lunch and dinners and parties planned together where the community comes together and express their views in terms of making the community better. We wanted to widen that to Pine Nest Loop and other communities within the city of Freeport. Also, we had a backyard farming program put in place where we partnered with Ms. Butters at Jack Hayward School, where we had some 1,400 plants um, that were planted already and were just about ready for distribution, but the hurricane actually washed all the way. Now, Calmer says once repairs have been made, they hope to get those programs off the ground. It's Halia Hall. ZNS Network News.